Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my December TBR. I can't believe it's already December. I just put up like my Christmas decorations today actually. It's still November, November 21st as of when I'm filming this and I just put up like my Christmas star and a few things like that and it looks really nice and cozy so I thought might as well film my December TBR while I'm at it. This is ba basically my end of the year TBR meaning books I have not gotten to so far this year that I really hope to read before the end of the year. So unfortunately I don't really have any like Christmas themed books or like seasonal books, wintry books. I, I tried to have a look on my shelf if I have some I have a lazo, I guess that would be one. I'm definitely doubting if I can squeeze any more books into this TBR. If you have any Christmassy recommendations or like wintry recommendations, please let me know. It's also been snowing like crazy in Stockholm these last 48 hours or so. Like we have so much snow. It looks beautiful. It's probably awful for those that are in traffic and whatever but I think it looks so lovely and it's really bringing me all of the Christmas feels that's why I have this little <laughs> fireplace going on as well. Please leave me any recommendations you might have for Christmassy seasonal wintery reads because I think the ones I will talk about today are not. Basically the books I have on here are mainly the books that are my end of the year TBR. I shared a bit about that in my November TBR video. I made myself a graph on Canva where I just put 11 books I wanted to read. Very random, but I'm trying to complete that one. I'm still reading a bunch of Shankers in November. Hopefully I will complete them before we actually get to December. I'm doubting it because it's definitely like, I have Shanky fantasies that I'm currently reading. I wanted to first talk about a couple of audiobooks I hope to read in December. Uh, or maybe even now in November actually. I might get to them already. First one is Matthew Perry's new book, the one who plays Chandler in Friends. He recently came out with a book called Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing. It's a memoir about his life, how he has struggled with addiction and substance abuse and so on. And I would really like to listen to this one actually. I also believe that he's the one narrating the book, which makes it even better. So this one is definitely on my list. I think I will also listen to Notes on an Execution by Dania Kukavka. This is mainly so that I can vote in the Goodreads Choice Awards. I have a rule that I need to read at least two books from each category in order to be able to vote. So those are two audiobooks. I'll aim to listen to. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks recently, so I do think I will be listening to more audiobooks other than these two. Let's now actually talk about my physical books and my end of the year TBR. I'm hoping to wrap up my vampire vlog, as I'm calling it, in December. And there's one more book I need to read for that one, and that is Woman Eating by Claire Coda. It's, I believe it's a literary book about someone who struggles with being a vampire. I have no clue, but it's fairly short. It's the last book I need for my TBR. You'll be getting a bunch of random reading vlogs in December. Vlogs that I wanted to release earlier, but never got to. I think this was initially on my October TBR. Another book I have is Book of Night by Holly Black. Will this be a priority of mine? No, but it is on my graph that I made, my end of the year TBR. So. That's why I'm mentioning it. Don't know what to expect. This is Holly Black's debut adult fantasy. She has previously written young adult fantasy. I do enjoy The Cruel Prince. I don't love it. I have a lot of doubts regarding this book, mainly because it's so short for being an adult fantasy. It's like 300 pages. I've heard a mix of things, so I don't know what to expect. But basically, I want to read this so that I have read it and I can decide whether I want to keep this stunning Illumicrate edition or not. <laughs> Next up is a book that I really hope by the time this video goes up that I have already started. That book is Babel by R.F. Kuang. This is the stunning Illumicrate edition. I will always show it off. Uh, this is my most anticipated release of the year and I have not yet read it. I really want to read it before the Goodreads Choice Awards ends because I'm anticipating that I really enjoy this and that I will want to vote for it in the fantasy category but I need to read it in order to vote for it. But as I said I have quite a hefty November TBR to get through still uh, and adding this to that and having to read it before the 4th of December might be a tad bit stressful but I will do my best, I really will. From what I've heard 
this book is about a character who goes to Oxford to study translation. I heard someone describe this greatly today actually when I was watching a YouTube video, uh, but I don't remember what they said. Something about a boy going to Oxford to study translation and coming to terms with like how the academic system is sort of working against him and there's a lot of commentary on like colonialism, racism, so on and there's magic in here as well and it has a lot of it has a lot to do with like the power of language, power of translation and similar and similar. And I think I will love it. So why have I not read it yet? I don't know, but I will be reading it this year. This is definitely, amongst these books, my greatest priority. A book I've been saying I will read for the entire year is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I have not read anything by Coho. Uh, I need to start this journey. And this is a book I've said on multiple TBRs throughout the years. That I will read. I'm saying it one last time this year. This is on my TBR for the month. I think it's like a darker romance. Like Colleen Hoover writes romance. But this is like a thriller romance. Something like that. Some love it. Some hate it. I think it can be fun. Next up. A book that definitely do not scream Christmas and winter. That is Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Probably my second most anticipated book of the year, if I'm honest. It feels a bit weird to read this during the winter. This is more like a summer book, I feel like. But nevertheless, I'm really excited about it and I want to read it before the end of the year because it is so anticipated for me. Taylor Jenkins Reid sort of writes historical fiction. I don't really classify it as historical fiction because I feel like it's still in two recent times and usually her writing and her setting feels so modern, just that she writes that it's set in the 70s or 80s, but it doesn't really feel like it's in the 80s. Historical fiction, but I would call it more contemporary. Reed's books are usually about celebrities, famous people, and I think they are so entertaining and fun. I've enjoyed all of her books I read so far. Evelyn Hugo, Daisy Jones and the Six, Melly Rising and I feel this will be just as great and what's also fun is that all of the characters kind of have cameos throughout the books. This is about a tennis player wanting to make a comeback. So she used to be the greatest tennis player of all time but suddenly there's another girl that's on the come up who might like beat her Grand Slam record. So Carrie Soto decides to make a comeback in order to like keep her record of number of Grand Slams won basically. It doesn't scream winter. It doesn't scream Christmas, but I think it would be fun at least. This is another one of my most anticipated reads, and this is a five-star prediction at the moment. That is The American Roommate Experiment. I'm so excited about this. I loved Elena Armas' first book, which is The Spanish Love Deception. This is her follow-up to that. We're following, I believe, it's the main characters from the previous book's cousin. It's cohabitation. It's a rom-com. I'm just excited. I'm just so excited. Why have I not read it yet? That was sort of the point with this end of the year TBR. All the books I have not yet read but that I'm so excited about and I have been meaning to read for multiple months. I just put them all on this sheet so that I had like one final push to actually read and get to them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will get through this stack. Another romance I put on this list, and this was very random, and I don't really see the need for me to have this on my list, but it's on it now. That's The Heart Principle. Basically, I put this on my end of the year TBR because I want to finish this series. I have really enjoyed the Kiss Quotient series. First book is The Kiss Quotient, second book is The Bride Test. I really enjoy those books. I think they are great, great smart, great characters. Everything is amazing. So I'm really excited about this one as well. I had meant to read it, like, last year when this one was first released i never got to it same thing this year so that's why i put it on my end of the year tbr because i want to finish the series i want to get to this book that i am really excited about but uh, like once again not a priority amongst these books actually final book on my end of the year tbr is jade war and i'm starting to doubt that i will even get to this one the thing is this is a current read actually i started this one in february February or March. I started this one early this year and I read 100 pages and I did really enjoy it and then I never picked it up again and that's awful because like Jade City took me by surprise. You need to read it to understand but I didn't think I was that attached to the story and to the characters and then something happens in the book and I realized that I was super attached and I really enjoyed Jade City 
following that. I really want to continue the series. I have the third book on my shelves as well, like I'm super excited about it. But for some reason I started to read this, I was trying to keep up with a read-along, I couldn't keep up. I then started to have other books on my monthly TBRs and this one sort of just got pushed aside. It would be great if I could manage to actually finish this book. Basically I need to read another 400 pages in this one in order to do that, but maybe I want to, I really want to. Like, I'm, I'm sorry I left you. And that's a very quick... December TBR actually. Let's try and put these books in some sort of priority order actually. Okay, I think I got it. Here we have it, my priority order of the books I hope to read in December. We first have Babel. This is like my main priority. This is the book I really need to finish before the end of the year. I then want to finish Woman Eating because once again, it's for a vlog and I really want to release that vlog and publish it. So that's why I will do the smart thing and prioritize this one. We then have the American Roommate Experiment. I'm crazy excited about it, 5 star prediction. Carrie Soto is back, once again another one of my most anticipated releases. Then these last four are kind of in the same, it depends on my mood I guess. Jade War, it would be nice to actually get rid of a book from my currently reading. The sooner I read it, the better I feel like. I then put Verity because I feel like that could sort of have some wintry, dark, cozy vibes. Not cozy necessarily, but like dark vibes, like mystery vibes and some romance. So I think that could probably work with how, with the night, with how dark it is. <laughs> Similar thing with Book of Night. And finally, The Heart Principle. Uh, I might read The Heart Principle before the other ones, we're gonna have to see, but like it's really not a priority in comparison to many of the other books at least. I wouldn't mind if I just read it like in January or February instead. This is quite a hefty TBR already. So I don't think I could squeeze in any seasonal Christmassy reads really. This sums up to a good few pages actually. I would guess like around 2800, 2900 pages. That's quite a bit. And I don't really have that many days off around Christmas because it's one of those years when you don't really get any days off because Christmas or Christmas Eve is on a Saturday. Same thing with New Year's. Also, if you did not see my previous video, I announced that I, in December, will try and post three videos a week. Fingers crossed I can make that work. It's basically just that I have so much content I want to do because of end of the year content and like vlogs I'm wrapping up and stuff like that. So I'll try and post three videos a week. My days will be Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. So basically an extra video on Tuesdays. Hopefully you will enjoy that. And hopefully I will be able to film, edit and deal with all of that. But I'm very excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what's on your December TBR. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye! You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after all.